other people. That's the gist of it. That I can understand, because they even move in AI like me. And we are back. So, last time we finished up the Join Londo Bell um, branch of the story. And now we're linking up with two other Super Robot series. Well, one that's kind of a little of both, and one that's not. But first, okay, I took care of the suborders and the factory and all that last time, so let's begin. <clears throat> two bases this time, and only 12 mechs. Okay then, Alberto, take care. Take full responsibility of turning over our prisoner, the artificial new type, to the appropriate organization. Hmm. There's something you want to say, Banneger? So, Meridia really is a prisoner, then? Naturally. But we'll take respect to her human rights as per the treaty. We're taking her to a place with appropriate, with, with full treatment facilities. The Federation forces I'm a wanted man. There's no reason for you to get caught up in that. I'm leaving the Unicorn with Londo Bell. I'd like you to send me as much of the data that you gather as possible. Understood. We'll take the appropriate steps to get that done. I'm counting on you, Officer Chan. Till next time, Alberto. Take care of yourself. So, slight way of explanation for those who haven't seen Unicorn. Alberto is part of the Vist family, and thus part of the whole Vist Foundation thing. But he really isn't a fan of the family schemes. He's kind of pressured into them. And so when he has the opportunity, he tries to take steps to kind of undermine things and help out the good guys. And don't do anything horrible to Meridia. Promise us at least that much. I'll do what I can. Hmm. So, there's a little checking. And... In front of the localization, a lot of these hmms are, th are three dots. So, I'm actually fully entitled to just be silent here. What is it? Still got something you want to say? Please take good care of Meridia. Got it. That steady gaze, he sure is the spitting image of Cardius Fist. Well, that's that. Yeah. We still don't know any more about Audrey at this point. Nothing we can do about that. Let's just wait for information from Ensign Riddy. Mm. We've, st we've, st we've got no time to dwell on this, Banneker. We're about to get very busy. Who knows right? According to Captain Tessarosa, there's no telling how much longer the, the island will be safe. The Uzeon, Amalgam, and the Earth Federation forces were actually being hunted down by all three. There's other enemies we've got to fight on this planet as well. I see. Well, this AS technology system is a whole other animal altogether. Sure is. That weapon is the result of a bunch of revolutionary breakthroughs all rolled into one. The best mobile suits is versatile and maneuverability. And though it's small, it has superior combat strength. And then there's that Lambda Driver. In terms of performance, they've got a similar history to the Gundams and other mobile suits. But the level of technology on this planet is just way higher. I think their biases are definitely evident, though. Still, Jadora, you complained at first, but by the end, you were really getting into the conversation. Yeah, I, I guess so. I'm really not opposed to that sort of talk. Yes, Konami's whispered powers are coming out even more than before. I hear you're a student. How did you end up knowing so much? Well, it started off as a hobby and just took off from there. All right, another question then. Are you involved with Sergeant Sosuke Sagara? What? Well, are you? I have no intention of answering questions like that about my private life. Have you excuse me? I've got cleaning to do. Oh boy, looks like I've got her all upset. Got her all upset. Is it references Nada? Where exactly were you going with that question? 
I was just concerned about something. Allow me to answer for Konami. Those two are not, are, those two in fact aren't involved, at least not now. But Tessa kind of has a crush on um, Sagara, as is in evidence. This is a little more aggressive about it, as you've seen Full Metal Panic from Afu, you would know. Also, you should watch Full Metal Panic from Afu. I believe it's streaming on Funimation, and also it's back in print, so you can get the DVDs. I, I, I see. Well, I stick my nose into a strange situation and end up taking off two girl geniuses. You're lucky I got the heterodyne isn't here, then you'd get the hat trick. And while we're at it, I'll take the liberty of answering another question as well. I mean the question about how she managed to pick up so much engineering knowledge? Tommy Chidori, and myself as well, are whispered, people bestowed with a special power. Being people who are whispered to, I take it? That's exactly right. The ability to hear whispers that come to us out of nowhere. And this is the result of revolutionary technologies. Theories that can't be found in existing systems. I think there's a slight mistranslation. The line here probably should be closer to something. I haven't read the original line, but I'm familiar with the show. And so I can say reasonably that this is slightly backwards. That these whispers result in revolutionary technologies and theories that can, can't be found in existing systems. Which means, that's right, many of the technologies that our world has and others that and others don't are based on whispered. Knowledge behind AS, the Lambda Driver, Saika and Saikamu, among others, were created by Whispered. There are very few people in the world who are privy to this information. Whispered has definitely got world-changing potential. As a result, a lot of organizations are doing their best to get their hands on it. Protecting is one of our most important objectives at Mithril. It's like ultra tech, uh, mad science, uh, new types. And likewise, our enemy Amalgam considers getting hold of it to be an essential element to the, of their combat strategy. Starting to get the picture. You've got Chidori and Mithril in order to protect her, right? Right. Arjun Sakura is guarding her, and for that purpose also went to the same school as her, high school as her for a time. Amalgam's been power has, pl has placed her in physical danger time and time again, and that's why we've taken her along with us. But why are you telling me such a big secret? Because we need your help. My help. Still tentative, so I can't talk about it just yet, but one way or another. What's that alarm? Can't be. Articus, report. Code Angel has been issued to the Federation Forces Far East Command. What's the situation? Far East Office has been destroyed. It's likely that no arms are salvageable. Which means those guys are our only hope. I've received instructions. We've also received instructions from Captain Bright to head for Japan. Understood. Prep the Tuatha de Danon for departure. Tessa Rosa, what is this Code Angel? I'll fill you in on the details on your way to Japan. You have to hurry. Otherwise, this could be the end of the world. The end of the world. By which we mean we're now stepping into Neon Genesis Evangelion territory. Or Eva Rebuild territory. Well, that was quick. It's almost already been a week since Shinji transferred in. That's true. So have you met your father yet? No, not yet. Wow, your father shows a strange one. Did you transfer here, summons you to Tokyo 3, and then doesn't even try to meet you? Well, you know, his bonderlings are taking care of me, so it's really not a problem. Fair enough. Anyway, if you have any problems, just let me know. Boy, to boy, we're, we're skipping over the Toji tries to beat the crap out of Sinji because um, his sister was injured in the last uh, angel attack thing. It was our destiny to meet like this, after all. Toji, Kensuke, thank you. Isaru did say that when the time came, she would take me to see Dad. My cat is precariously balanced on my lap and very nearly fell off just now. Sadly, I'm not doing the on-camera... Why am I set to... Okay. Hopefully I... Okay, as far as it was just dialogue that was just now. I'm not sure how that got switched to starting soon. I apologize for that. Um... Fortunately, I haven't missed any combat. All that passed was just dialogue. I apologize. So 
so anyway that was all on camera all right um sorry about that i'll take a look at the vod to see where that mixed up i can't actually restart this sequence nope i can't um darn Okay, so, just in case, um, quick rewind to see what we've missed. Alright, so, go back to the top. So, if, so, the thing we missed, we had, um, dial, I should be paying more attention, I apologize. We had dialogue between... So I, I've always acted all of that, but we start off with that with Alberto taking off with Meridia as a prisoner from the Nahal Argama at Meridia Island, or I think it's Meridia Island. Um, Alberto is leaving Unicorn Londo Bell, and he's basically kind of being. He, he's undercover on the Vist Foundation to a certain degree. He's, kind of, he's, he's now kind of become a double agent. Working in the Vist Foundation somewhat on behalf of Londo Bell as best he can. Um, then we have the bit with that in the 12th and down quarters, voice acting there. That's between Sonata, Tessa, Captain Tessa Tosrosa and uh, Kaname talking about the Lambda Driver and Sonata is brought up to speed about um, Kanami being a Whispered and also basically the effect they've had in the global technological development. Also, uh, Tessa got all tsundere about um, Kaname and Sagara. At which point, they then got summoned to Tokyo 3, informed, hey, it's the end of the world, it's potentially the end of the world, because Code Angel has been issued. All right, and now we're back where we are now with Kensuke, Shinji, and Toji. All right, how about that? I wonder what he and the others at Nerve are up to. Oh, but Kari, the teacher said to leave school right away. Excuse me? Apparently a girl is supposed to meet you at the school entrance, and you're supposed to do what she says. A girl? I wonder if it's Masato. Oh, and Ayanami is supposed to go with you. Me? Me? Masato referred to Ayanami as Rei. I wonder if she's associated with Nerve, too. Let's go, Ikari. Uh, right. What's that siren? All right, that's your first time hearing it. The famous Toka 3 disaster drill alarm. Although given that Neo Zeon ignores this place, I have no idea what, we ta what we're taking refuge from. Akari, I think we better get a move on. Uh, right. She comes all the way to school to meet just with me. What could she possibly want? Famous, are we? this is how we're introducing um, Asuka. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.